Hi guys, it's late in the evening. We've just put the kids to sleep and I'm on baby watch. So if I have to go, I just have to go, but I'm gonna be back. But I was just at the post office and I actually picked up one of the watches that I've been looking for the most uh, this year. I've actually been waiting for this watch for two months and I've been scanning YouTube for videos of it, but actually, haven't found any. I mean, I found uh, videos on the blue version and the black version, and I saw some videos featuring the green version, like Teddy's, uh, he actually had the green version in uh, small snippets in his video, but I don't know if there is any videos of an actual unboxing of the green one. I think there is a German video out there, but this is gonna be an English speaking video, even though it's a uh, badly English, uh, poorly English speaking, but an English, unboxing video of the Longines Zulu Timer GMT. So uh, I'm literally, literally sitting at the table. Let's just turn the camera around, hope the winds do not bother us too much and take a look at what I hope is a fantastic watch because I just have to open this with you. I mean, we don't have a lot of sun. I, it would be better to wait until the morning because we would have a better picture but I just can't wait. You know how it is, maybe. Let's open it up together. Okay, so we're actually opening and opening up the box upside down. And the baby monitor is here. Good, he's still sleeping. If it starts to, uh, uh, if you have some blue lights here, then he's awake and then I have to go. So uh, let me know if you see some blue lights, even though this is not a live video. The trusty knife, I'm wearing the uh, Zodiac uh, Super Sea Wolf Aquamarine Dream today, but we're not here to look at that. We're actually here to look at another uh, green watch because I guess uh, uh, turquoise is is considered a green color, a variation of green. Well, I have to say that uh, green is not uh, one of my favorite colors. <sighs> There are a lot of colors that I would choose and prefer uh, before green. I mean, I always say that my favorite color is red, but my favorite color might actually be turquoise. Uh, I really am a little undecided there, but I mean, I really like, I mean, I like a lot of colors before I like green. I like black, I like blue, not green so much, but when I saw this watch, uh, in the uh, on the pictures when it was released and when I saw the watch uh, at the first time it was really a beautiful watch I don't know why I have an extra package here okay something from Longines uh, and I guess I'm pronouncing it right you are I think you're not supposed to pronounce the S it's Longines there are a bunch of videos out there on people telling you how to pronounce some brands names what do we have here this is the box it's a little dented i'm not really liking that because i'm a little i'm a perfectionist when it comes to boxes we have some papers we have a little ba bag uh, this is where i bought the watch from Klokia, their official ad's for Longines uh, and actually even for Rado which I'm uh, hoping to uh, buy one of a, a Rado watch someday and Klokia is uh, this particular shop is situated in the most beautiful city we have in Sve Sweden Visby on the island of Gotland it's such a beautiful city my favorite city in Sweden if you haven't been and if you're planning on going to Sweden just go to Visby and visit Klokia. There are really nice people there. I actually, I've been to v Visby twice and I always uh, pay Klokia a visit. They're nice guys to talk with. So what do we have here? Um, let's take a look at the smaller things. First, are this, these are some kind of gifts from uh, Longines or from Klokia themselves, I don't know. This is, oh, this is a, I guess this is a nice little pencil. Yep. Oh, nice. I have never... Or is it a pencil? Yeah, it's a pencil. A pen. Uh, I don't know the difference between pen and pencil, but it's a pen. A Longines pen. 
you can see the Longines branding right there nice little pen and then we have the Longines wings on the top beautiful beautiful pen and nothing on the bottom thank you very much for that one we have something more inside of this and what is this this is star roller approximately 900 a star roller what's that is it also some kind of a pen I guess yeah I think it's it's a Swiss made with an ISO number I think it's some kind of a pen A4 is a, a kind of a paper size yep yeah, I'm guessing it's also a pen so two pens <laughs> as a gift a nice little bonus thank you very much for that uh, I don't deserve any kind of gifts uh, Longines little bag but I'm really happy to get something when I get it so thank you very much Klokia Longines I guess this is not stuff that comes uh, with the watch regularly I don't know uh, a little watch bag maybe Longines this is a nice little thing oh yeah oh it's actually you you have place for two watches here nice soft material I guess you open this up put the watch in put this between the strap bracelet whatever set it nice this is a really small and nice little travel pouch for your watches uh, really uh, I mean this one I've seen a lot of travel pouches and this one must be the smallest and I guess most uh, nimble one to take with you when you're traveling thank you so much for that as well I'm actually gonna put the pen in there close this up there we go and no oh, then we have what I'm guessing is some kind of a book yeah the pioneer spirit lives on a story of outstanding achievements Longines it's a little booklet of Longines milestones watches famous people I guess maybe people that have worn Longines through the years or maybe people that have inspired uh, uh, Longines Charles Lindbergh was in there uh, yeah a nice little book that I'm sure I have some time to read because I actually um, am on vac vacation right now if you're hearing a lot of wind I'm sorry for that but it's an unboxing I wanted to show you the watch it's some kind of a storm coming in here okay so you opened up the box this is what you get inside a little wallet with the warranty card and the certificate right there and a little instructions manual nice little uh, leather uh, wallet here we can put that right back in because warranty cards are not so funny to look at but the wallet was beautiful put that away then we have a little cloth a cleaning uh, a cloth for your watch when you need to rub it off do any of you actually use ever use these cloths I have never used one in my life and then we have the box within the box and underneath in this little compartment here is the massive instructions for use book Longines World Service in a bunch of different uh, languages we're gonna put that right where it belongs and we're going to take out the box within the box this is my first Longines watch and uh, uh, I don't know if I'm really impressed it might be the first of many uh, the Longines logo there we have some r <laughs> nice lacquer on this box it really shines reflecting everything around it and we have this soft uh, material on the bottom what does it say here yeah it's a stamp of the uh, manufacturer of the box I guess okay the big moment is here let's just rip rip open the box and check out the watch itself there we have it no hidden compartments up above and the Longines ah, Zulu timer GMT tucked away in some plastic 
resting on a pillow and we actually have a compartment beneath here that you can maybe put your extra spare links or something like that yeah but uh, okay it feels substantial when pulling it out and it is a little bigger uh, watch than I'm used to actually it's a 42 millimeter watch so uh, I've actually gone down to 40 millimeter watches this is uh, yeah let's take a look at this one take off that nice plastic covering up the front and the back I don't know what I'm doing here look at this watch take that off there we go there we go okay <laughs> okay uh, as usual I'm not going to take off any of the other plastic on the bracelet and stuff because I'm I'm actually not sure how to try on the watch without taking off this plastic here uh, but it says you can try it on on your wrist before deciding and that's the sweet thing about buying watches in Sweden you have at least 14 days if you buy something online if you cannot try it in the shop because you're you live far away from the shop 14 days to try it on at home and if you don't like it send it back uh, and I'm gonna have a hard time trying this on without at least removing this little plastic here so I guess I'm gonna have to do that but the first impressions are solid I mean they're it, it's a nice looking solid looking watch let us zoom in a little on that dial yeah Longines automatic Zulu time chronometer and there we have it our blue light I have to go I'll be back okay I'm back uh, by the power of editing I'm actually going to uh, insert some uh, video and some footage from the watch in natural daylight because uh, in this dark light here the as you can see the bezel insert looks entirely black I don't know how it comes off uh, when you're looking at this but when I'm looking at the screen and when I'm actually looking at the watch in this lighting it looks like a black bezel insert but it's not this bezel insert is the green version and this watch is beautiful it's such a stunningly beautiful watch I'm just hoping that it will wear okay because we have a 42 millimeter diameter of the dial we actually have male end links so the lug to lug distance I don't know about the lug to lug distance because I don't have all the specifications here this is a first impressions unboxing video but it might be 50 millimeters maybe uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to feel big when you put it on your wrist but as you can see those lugs they do not taper very much so I'm just hoping that this one will wear uh, perfectly fine and I'm, I am going to put it on my wrist in the footage that I insert in this video okay take a look at that beautiful crown there as you can see I'm not gonna say as you can see 10 times in this video again as we see it is a stamped crown with the Longines name and the logo we have a coin edged bezel uh, the dial is black gilted hands gilted hour markers and if you look closely on that dial we actually have a little three-dimensional dial here uh, we have the uh, minute and hour markers on one level then we have the actual dial on another level and then we have those uh, small small hour markers beneath every hour that are etched inside that that uh, second uh, if you see the dial there I'm looking for the word in English here you see the dial there and you see that track running around the dial showing you all the seconds we have cut they have cut into that that track giving the dial another lovely dimension the Longines logo up beneath the 12 is actually applied nice little touch and every single star right above the date you see the five stars there they're also applied the date is color matched on that date wheel beautiful I'm, I'm dying to show you this in some natural sunlight let's take the bezel for a spin uh, ok 
okay what we have here is actually uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's a 24 uh, click bezel GMT bezel and it's bi-directional as it should be when it's a GMT feels great feels precise has a mechanical feel to it as you I don't know if you can notice that through the video and I'm in the full feature video I'm gonna give you the sound of it but it also almost feels like a robotic zzz, zzz. <laughs> uh, nice feeling bezel action uh, no movement between clicks and locks on perfectly aligns perfectly and you might have noticed I already already smudged up that ceramic bezel insert that's the thing with ceramic bezel inserts they get a lot of fingerprints really easily so uh, that's the Longines no let's take a look at the bracelet uh, the lugs we have a mix of brushing and polishing looks really nice the brushing looks fantastic actually uh, you can see some details there in the brushing you can see the lines beautiful 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 and the bracelet even though we have plastic on it it's uh, almost entirely brushed we have some small polished details that gives the bracelet a little pop but uh, it looks beautiful let's see if we have s yeah are those screws they better be it better those better be screws no they're not are those push pins or maybe they're actually pins and collars we're gonna tell you I have to take a look at that uh, and the clasp five points of micro adjustment Longines written on the side horizontally looks good you know that I like my clasps to be a little longer especially when it's a quite of a large watch when it has uh, a lug to lug distance that is quite substantial I would like my clasp to be a little bit longer but we're gonna try it on and see how it feels uh, the case back shows us the Zulu timer Longines the world the Longines branding there 100 meters of water resistance spirit Swiss made stainless steel and I've never seen oh is this look at this this is just another example that I have not seen a lot of videos of this watch online because this might be if you push that little button there it might make the yeah it might make the bracelet actually come off is this a button you can push yeah it is this is a button that you can push because I was first thinking when I saw the the end links uh, how the hell am I supposed to uh, access the the sprint in there to take this bracelet off if I want to but you do that by pushing that little button there and on that side such nice engineering and uh, just 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 took this watch I am actually going to excuse if these are push pins or even worse pins and colors but I know that pins and colors are actually better but if they're not screwed links which they actually look like they're not unfortunately then I'm going to forgive that because you have that sweet system of removing the bracelet even though I'm never going to remove the bracelet uh, but still nice little touch and then we have this little nice little tag here the Longines World Service brand actually started in 1832 five years C balance spring magnetic resistance five year warranty nice 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 this watch is a 3,000 euro watch it costs 3,000 euro it's a GMT movement in-house by Longines uh, and I mean compared to the Seamaster that I've been wearing a couple of days now that watch costs twice as much as this one and actually this has so much more I'm not gonna say attitude because the Seamaster has the Seamaster has an attitude the Seamaster has a tough rugged almost cool look about it black uh, all 
black and white and uh, the waves and everything this has a nice vintage inspired look with all those numerals I've actually missed having a watch with r regular numerals I always have my watches in my collection they're just uh, all the hour marks are, markers are dots or I might have one or two or three numerals and then a date window but these are all numerals except for the six o'clock one and I'm really liking the design of this uh, dial of this whole package of the watch itself of everything we have here and uh, I'm sorry to uh, not be able to show you uh, yeah I'm gonna take it off let's take it off I have to try it on there's no way I can try this watch on without taking this plastic off so we're gonna go all the way let's take it off there we go it's off okay let's put it down there let's take off the zodiac there we are and let's put on this one Oop. see if we can can we yeah we can blue plastic all over yeah let's put it on Oop. there we have it oh looking good with those tattoos let's just snap it in there I can't because we have a lot of stuff going on <laughs> I mean, uh, well, this is the hard part doing this in camera. I'm sorry for this. Sorry for the fumble. Well, you know, if you play the game, you sometimes fumble. And I just fumbled. But uh, I'm right back at it. Let's put it on once again. See if we can not fumble this time. Whoop, there we are locking the clasp. We can't. Ah, there we have it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> But I fumbled and I, yeah, there we have it 20 centimeter wrist Longines Zulu timer uh, GMT green version. Uh, oof, oof, there it is, and it looks substantial. It looks, it looks uh, not too big because it doesn't overhang, but it looks bigger than the watches that I currently have in my collection that's not necessarily a bad thing but it isn't as heavy as I thought it would be I mean the Seamaster is also 42 millimeters but it's a lot heavier than this watch and I think that maybe some of that weight comes down to the bracelet actually this is a lot thinner bracelet the Seamaster is a lot thicker and the clasp is a lot bigger uh, it looks looks beautiful and uh, I bet in the video I actually inserted some footage of me wearing it in the sun so this is not the first time you're seeing it in the video but this is the first time I'm actually putting it on in the video and uh, it feels it feels really comfortable feels really good looks really good loving the gilt uh, hour markers and the gilt combination with the black and with the green even though I'm not seeing the green right now but uh, look at the different angles beautiful beautiful oh it's a lovely lovely watch fumble again with my microphone i'm sorry it's just a fumbly kind of day well that's uh that's how it goes when i'm shooting it in the evening so what do you think guys longines zulu timer this was a really fumbly video with babies waking up and fumbling things and i'm sorry for that not every video can be scripted and perfect like some of the other youtubers out there i'm just winging it the way i am this is my unboxing experience sharing it with you the way that i actually experienced it myself and sometimes you fumble in life that's it sometimes you fumble as i did in this video uh, first impressions of the Longines, I'm really liking it. Uh, would I l have loved if the watch was a little bit smaller? Of course. And now we have that second hand ticking away. Just had to give it a little Seiko shake and off we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. A beautiful watch. Hope you liked the video. Hope you liked the unboxing even though I was fumbling a lot. But I'm... Um, definitely going to make you yeah, give you a review of this watch if i'm keeping it which it seems like i actually am but uh, until that video please give it a thumbs up please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it please consider subs subscribing if you loved it and would like to see more and please if you did not like the video and the fumbliness give it a thumbs down tell me what you didn't like maybe the fumbling and i'll try my best to do better the next time 
uh, as you can see we have a taper and I said as you can see once again I should almost punish myself every time I say as you can see I have to stop with that anyway I hope to see you again bye bye <laughs>